Salvation Army Harbor Light Complex is a ministry of the Salvation Army, and it's a multifunctional residential social services program. It encompasses a whole lot. The largest is our community corrections program, and the idea is to help them so that they don't need to go to jail or prison, or when they're returning, give them a safe landing back into the community. Because we know from research that if you get released from prison and you go right back to the streets, the likelihood you're gonna to return to prison is very high. We basically reduce that recidivism rate by about a half. So not only is it a good thing for the people we serve, but it's a great thing for the community. Some of the other things, we operate a residential subacute detox center. About 78% of the people coming through our detox program are opiate addicts. 13 years ago, that number was 5%. We started administering a drug called Vivitrol, and Vivitrol is an injectable form of a drug called naltrexone that basically blocks the heroin from having an effect on your body for 30 days. When you're talking about opiates, nothing's a silver bullet, but this is a big step in allowing someone to walk their path so that they can further their recovery and gives them an opportunity to work their recovery program. One of our key programs is the HASP program. It's an acronym for Pickup Assessment and Sheltering Services. We take men that are in the shelter, and our goal is to work with those men to get into permanent housing. We have over 80% of those men that leave move into a permanent housing placement. Typically, we serve 200 to 225 of those men each year. We also supervise about 100 people on electronic monitoring. We supervise some of those individuals for parole. The Zama George Family Shelter, last year we provided over 43,000 nights of service. All the people that come to us come through our homeless system in Cuyahoga County. I'm glad this facility is here because it helps a lot of people. It places families so you won't be out there in the cold, so you won't be carrying your stuff everywhere you go. It keeps you away from the people, places, and things that can bring you back into your addiction. And it just, I mean, everything that they incorporate here is, I mean, it's all for our benefit and it's all working well if you work the program. If you do everything that you should do here, you shouldn't have any problems. In our non-residential programs, we have about 100 or so, but in our residential programs, typically we have about 450 people per night that stay here. That equates to annually providing about 140,000 nights of service and over 400,000 meals a year. The goal is when they come through the doors, when they leave, they're better off than when they entered. I believe the Salvation Army was raised by the Lord to fulfill a very specific mission on this earth preach the gospel of Jesus Christ and meet human needs in his name without discrimination. And if we do that, stay true to that, God will honor and God will bless us, no doubt.